It's Friday. It's Friday. Can you see me yet? Oh. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Natalie from So Hungry Hippie. And per usual, I'm just gonna click around to make sure this is, yep, now I see it. Now I know I'm here. I hope everyone is doing well. Hi, Tamara. Uh, let me know where you're tuning in from and don't forget to like and share if you can, it always helps. I have a few fun things to show you today. And I'm going to have Ramel come in in a few minutes and join us in the conversation. I thought I was going to demo some of the products. Oh, you're, oh, you're going to be Vanna White. Yeah, I, you can I, do that. I can do that. Okay. I don't know who that is, but I'll try You don't know who Vanna White is? No. Only the most famous game show, the lady who turned the letters and was like, Ta -da! Oh. Vanna. Oh, oh my gosh. Sorry. Anywho, who cares? Oh, Vena with a V, right? <laughs> hi, Kat. Hi, Bethany. Hi, Gwen. Lynn. Yay! So many tuning in. This is great. Maria, Kelly. Happy to see everyone. Okay, let's just get into it. I don't know if you saw this earlier in the week on my Instagram and now TikTok. I'm trying to learn TikTok. Bear with me. But I made these jogger pants, and this was just cute knit fabric that I found at Joanne. And um, I did the buttonholes, but then I hate draw co drawstring cords, so I'm just not going to use a drawstring. But this is really fun, and this is the pattern. And yes, it's in the shop now. I'm, all, you know, I told you guys I'm going to start carrying different patterns that I love, and this one was so well written. I never got confused. And it ended up with a really nice, comfortable, not sloppy looking jogger. So it's the Hudson by True Bias. And it is in the shop, but it, I'll just tell you real quick. It's from zero to, to size 18. Difficulty level is like confident beginner. And you want to use like a cotton lycra, French cherry, pont. I wouldn't use a pont, but whatever. Uh, I use sweatshirt material. I picked up a bunch more um, the other day because it's 40% off right now if you have a Joanne by you. And I'm going to make a bunch. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Mia requested black. So, I got a bunch of different kinds of knit in black for her. I'm going to make her a pair. She loves black. She loves black and camo. And that's it. <laughs> and uh, a rib knit. Uh, no, this one is not for men. This one is for ladies, but I'll try to find one for you, Ramel. And, you know, you can pick out some fabric. <laughs> Here, I'm going to hand this back to First you. First time I'll be excited walking into Joanne. A few years ago, it was actually seven years ago now, I made Ramel a onesie in double fuzzy, like minky. What was the design on there, Tom? Uh, spaceships. Spaceships. I don't think you ever wore it. It was so no, I crazy. Did. I did. Wear you wore it. it at Christmas Eve. Yes. But it was, you know, your old school zip up onesie. Hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Kat says, yes, garment patterns always confuse me. <laughs> it's just because it's new to you. And so I understand a lot of the big box garment patterns are terrible. And I hate saying that, but it's true. They assume a lot of knowledge. So the ones that I have in my shop, I've done them lots of times. I've tested them, make sure that all the directions are there. They're not assuming knowledge. And those are the ones that I will stock. Tried and true. So there we go. All right. Um, Kelly says, I want to try making clothes, but too chicken. Oh, don't worry about it. You know, Kelly, I I felt that way too before I dove into garment sewing. And I finally just realized I have to just do it because that's how I'm going to learn. I can't, I think over analysis leads to paralysis and then it's, you go nowhere. So just get some cheap fabric that you don't care too much about or something in your stash that's been sitting there for seven years and just dive in, just go for it. I should or just buy it, buy another one and then make your mistakes on the first one and then you learn on the second yeah, one. Yeah, like two bundles of fabric. Yeah. You should just come on in. Come on in, Ramel. Come on down. Come on. Okay. 
Hi, Look, everyone. I even brought, brought a chair for you. You can even sit. Oh, really? But I yeah. don't know what I'm going to do. Let's, we're going to talk about some kits and stuff we've been doing behind the scenes. This is new. This right? is new, okay. yes. So next up, to uh, I was going to say segue over. Why do we say segue? Mm -hmm. Is that because of the roller thingy? I don't know. Or was it a word before the roller thingy? The word was before the roller The word thingy. was before. Well, they stole it. Yeah. I hope okay. they paid Webster some copyright. I have just listed these new kits in the shop. This is to make a easy zipper case, couple of them. What I've put in here is the black vegan leather, uh, some canvas by Ruby Star Society. It's called Tiger Stripe. A whole package of number three black and white stripe zippers. Uh, a whole package of SF101 fusible interfacing. And of course the pattern. So we've sold a bunch of these already. They've only been up for about 24 hours, maybe less, less than. Yeah. But I've got a few more. If you want one, grab one. I actually have that project on my sewing table. After this, I'm going to shoot a video making this version so that everyone feels taken care of. And you can see how I put the contrast bottom with the canvas top and how I interface it and all that. It's super simple. A lot of times with interfacing, I'm just going to use what I have. And so on this kit, I'm providing you with a full yard of SF 101. And that's because on the vinyl, I do two layers of SF 101. And that's enough to keep the pouch standing up nicely. And I do one layer with the canvas and that's it. No foam, no fleece, no batting, na, 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 just this. So we've got a few of those in there, don't we, Ramel? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, Ramel was on me about I was not. making, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I meant you were like, girl, you better go cut some more scrap. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Bundles. My happy scrappy packs. I've made a bunch more. They're just listed in the shop now. These are super popular because I my scrap packs tend to be pieces that are either, I would say, at a minimum half of a fat quarter. But most of them are fat quarter or larger. So they're not your tiny, tiny scrap packs. They're generous pieces. So we've got a few of those listed, and they will probably go quickly. So if you guys want one, grab one now. What should be the search term? Happy Scrappy Pack. Oh, that's it? Okay. That's what it's called, Happy Scrappy Pack. Um, oh, hi, a bunch more people coming in. Hi, Dalva. Yes, Ramel is going to be the next Oscar de la Renta. <laughs> wow, that's a, that, that's a big milestone to hit. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, okay, let's keep going. I just listed these this morning because we did a bunch of packaging, didn't we, together? We yeah. bonded over packaging. We well, have we brand new cream colored uh, zipper tape with rose gold teeth and rose gold pulls. These are brand new. I haven't had this color before. I really like this opposed to the white. I felt like the, the white was just a little too stark, whereas the cream color blends with so much that we have here, so much of the fabric. The cream blends well with all the Anna Maria fabrics we have, and we've got more arriving. This um, is classy. It's classy. It looks a little richer, right? Yeah. A little more suave. Mm -hmm. Suave. And then we also listed... A new updated dusty rose color. I was just testing the pulls on here. That's why it's a little wonky. But this is an updated color for dusty rose with rose gold teeth and rose gold pulls. This looks perfect with peach crock, which I know I only have two rolls left, but more is on the way, mm -hmm. <laughs> like always. It's like and this it, endless cycle. It works with the zipper jig too, right? Oh yeah, it's, I All put. I always test the pulls and the zippers when they arrive. It's from the same company, so you know I expect it to always work. But I always test it. So if you're having trouble, just take a breath and look at how you're doing it. When you're putting on a zipper pull, 
you have to make sure that you're putting it in the curved side and that your zipper tape is facing the right direction according to your pull. So I have two one minute videos on my YouTube channel if you need some help. One has no tools. It's just me hand putting it on and they're gonna kind of go on like this. They're not gonna be even across. It's gonna be a little offset. And that's why if a pattern calls for 12 inches, you wanna give yourself like at least 13 inches to work with because then you can trim it to be even and make it work for your pattern. So I've got that video in there and I also have the zipper jig one minute video in there as well. And you can pause it and get real close and see how I'm doing it. I think I'm gonna put the link in there. Oh, thanks. That would be awesome. Yeah. That would be really good. Oh, this is the this is the canvas fabric that I put in that kit, by the way. It's the Ruby Star Tiger Stripes. I love it. It's so cute. Okay, next up, I have uh, I think we're down to less than 20 of these Ruby Star tins left. And these are in the shop as well. I have doohickeys in rainbow iridescent. I have a washi tape, various designs. You get a full pack of universal chrome needles, size 80. And you get a sticker by the Gray Muse. And these will vary too, but they always are meaningful and they're high quality. You can put it on your machine or you can put it on a notebook or a mug, your coffee tumbler, whatever. So we're, and that's it. I can't get any more of these. So if you want one, grab one. I'll put the link. Thank you. Thanks for Mel. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Where is the scrap pack? Oh, it's under it's under happy scrappy pack. If you use that search bar with the little magnifying glass on the website in the top right corner, you can just put in happy scrappy packs. I'll try to change that so it does show up under the fabric. What's funny about the website is if there's a drop down menu with fly out menu, and then there's also, if you click on the shop, it goes into a different set of menus. So we'll be working on that to try and streamline that a little better. But the search glass should always come up with what you're looking for. And if you don't know what it's called, like let's say um, fuchsia crock vinyl, you could just put in crock vinyl and it'll show you all seven or eight crocks that we carry. I put the link too. Thank you. Thanks, Ramel. You're mm -hmm. so handy. <laughs> um, so try that or color or I don't know. If in doubt, you can message us. He, Ramel is going to fix the chat. It was getting a little crazy, so we took it down for a few days. And we're going to make it so that a lot of the most commonly asked questions are there right away. And if it's not there, then go ahead and message. Um, OK, let's see here. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. Your IG made me laugh out loud again, like always today. Thank you for that. I love this sweater. So fun. I found this on Etsy like a few weeks ago. And now that I have it in real person, well, it said daisies. And now I kind of think, well, it kind of looks like scrambled eggs. <laughs> Are you hungry? But I like it. Yeah, I am hungry. Uh, cat. Yep. My cart is always full. That's I do funny. that too. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's do, oh, the necklaces. I have two seam ripper necklaces left. So I just marked them down. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, they're really cool. I, I use my rose gold one a lot, but this is how far they hang down. And then the seam ripper, it, um, I don't want, oh, here it is. I don't want to break it. I always feel like I'm going to break it. There it just you bends. You don't pull it off and then lose your cap. It just bends and it stays connected. I really like these. These are from the quilt spot. So just a couple of those are left if you want to go grab one. Okay, so I did that. I did that. I have a little list. I'm trying to stay organized. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. 
but I'm going to show you a couple of the highlights of the most recent Happy Box. If you're not familiar with Happy Box, it's a subscription I run monthly. There is a sign up for the wait list. We're full currently, but there's always some people that have to uh, drop out. So sign up on the wait list if you want to try it. There's only three more. We have May, June, and July. And I'm super excited. This morning, I just picked up the paper materials for the next box coming in May. And it looks amazing. I'm really excited. I finished the video already uh, for the, the project, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> but the last one that I just sent out had the theme was bananas. So we had a silicone banana pouch. This one is mine personally. It's, it lives in my purse and I put my pens and pencils and stuff in here and I just keep it in my purse. It's hilarious. Disclaimer, I love bananas. You love bananas. I, yes, do. You do. I love the smell of them. I don't love eating them. This is a quote by Betty White. So this is a card you can use. I put that in there. I put uh, all natural face mask. Ruby and I tried this. It's very luxurious and creamy. And it's uh, fragrance free, like all of that, because I have sensitive skin and I didn't want to risk anything like that. Now, of course, I forgot to bring up the vinyl and the fabric, but I had a full kit minus the Dookie Brown color to make the banana bag. Because in the video, this has a video walkthrough. This is my pattern. Uh, and one of the bananas, I used green instead of brown. And honestly, I just didn't want to buy 20 yards of brown fabric because if, if there was left over, I know I'll never use it. <laughs> I don't use brown. So unless I make a bajillion banana bags. But this is the vinyl we used. And uh, it's just funny. It's quirky. It's fun. It's a conversation starter. And we use banana fabric on the inside from Ruby Star Society. So that whole kit was in the happy box. It was a mega, mega kit. There was also a smelly highlighter. If you remember these as kids, each one smells like a different fruit. There was a handmade lollipop by this company, Sweet Caroline. Uh, they're, these are hard to come by. This company is really special and um, in demand is what I mean. And then you got some happy magnets and you got some old school candy, banana candy. I almost ate it all. Oh, go ahead and eat that. The chocolate was great. Oh, yeah. And I don't have any of that because I ate, we ate it. We ate it. Yeah. There was a bag of bark and it was banana strawberry chocolate and it was so mm. amazing i could hardly keep my family from opening it and eating it all and then we had these ultra cute banana soaps that my friend aaron made so aaron joe on ig she doesn't sell soap but she did this for us for extra extra cuteness for the box it looks so real they look so real that's why she did a sticker because she's yeah. like somebody's gonna try to eat that that yeah, was and then i'll get sued and die <laughs> uh. so um that was a lot of it not everything but that was most of it i think and we're sold out i still owe tamara one i i got you tamara um and let's see what else and joni's waiting on her silicone banana those should be in any day mm -hmm. I might have some silicone bananas left over and I'm trying to think what we're going to do. If we're going to have like just fun stuff in the shop or if we're going to do some char charcuterie boxes, you know, where you just kind of throw in a bunch of stuff. Uh -huh. I think those are fun too. So we'll see. Okay. Let's see. What else? Ramel, can you hand me those acrylic vases? Yeah. I was looking at this and like, I, I see what it says it does, but yeah. I'm sure you're going to explain it. Yeah, so these are not listed yet, but I will get them up today. I, When you're a bag maker, a lot of times you make a big bag, you want a really sturdy base. And by Annie makes this acrylic one. It's super thin. My mom has used these in her bags before. I love them. So I bought them. Now, these are specific size. This is six by 14 and three quarters. Do you think you could cut that somehow or no? Is that just it? 
with your man tools. Could you cut that down if you needed to? Uh, I think you need acrylic. I mean, this can be cut. Yeah. Like how you buy it. But I mean, not with scissors. So how would you yeah. cut it with your table saw? Uh, no. No. Um, <laughs> well, then you just better make a bag that fits the base. <laughs> yes. Let's build around this. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, they're handy. And I thought, well, that's fun to get them in and try and work out. They will work with the Santorini tote, by the way. If you make the large or you can make it work with the medium if you do a three inch boxed corner. So I'll test it out. Just, you know, I don't want anyone mad at me. I'll say the size large for sure. Yes, but I can test it out. What cut with? That's right. We could, we could film you cutting it on your man tools. Um, yeah, but whatever that would be, whatever that would be. Uh, okay. So let me Deal. come in here. Oh, yes. Uh, Kelly, she bought, do you want to go grab the white geometric that she's oh, talking about? It's yeah. right around the corner. Do you want me to bring Thanks. the other colors? Sure. Great idea. Yes. That one is super, super easy to sew. Kelly, it's quite thin, but it's got a microfiber backing. I, I know so much about vinyl. It's insane. It's insane. But I've been sewing it for about 12 years now, maybe 13. I don't know. Time is so weird. I thought we lived here for three years and we've been here seven now. Uh, so I don't know, a long time. And what's really important with vinyl and cork is the backing material. Because if it's not right, it will just tear apart. And I have seen cork like that. So this is what Kelly's talking about. It is stunning. Thank you, Ramel. Yeah, there's another one. He's going to get you all the colors. And as you can see, it's got this nice, soft, kind of fuzzy backing. So this is extremely easy to sew. With this one, I often don't even need a Teflon foot. Actually, I don't need a Teflon foot. On my Juki TL2000, which is not special, it's not industrial, uh, I don't need it. We also have it in black. This one is even softer than the white. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's the process. It's the base fabric that they begin with. This one's just a little bit thinner. This is so beautiful. And I I don't know, I just can't seem to get the pictures to look as good as it does when it arrives, but that's okay. That It's better that way than the other way. This is the Midnight Green. It almost looks black, but when you're in, in person, you can tell it's like a really dark forest green. I don't even know if you call. I mean, I think it's 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 a green tint. And then we also have oh shapeshifter. That's yeah. A good, cool one. I yeah. like this one. This one is all black with a glossy web on it. And this is Ramel's favorite that he just brought up, the shapeshifter, which is stunning. It arrives like this, and you're like, oh, it looks so dark. And then you open it and put it in sunlight. And I don't even have some right here. The camera doesn't do it justice. It looks different here because of the way the camera is capturing the light. Yeah. Well, and like when a bag is made with it, remember that zipper pouch I made? Yeah. And it, it just, it looks like it's bending uh -huh. almost like an illusion. Escher bags I should make a pattern. You can write the pattern because I am mm -hmm. real, real tired of patterns. Mm -hmm. You can write it. It'll be called the Escher bag. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and design that. Whip it up. I'll, write it in InDesign. I'll have it ready to you by tomorrow. Draw the pattern pieces in Illustrator. Done. <laughs> Sue says that chocolate was so good, wasn't it, Sue? Oh my gosh, it was insanely good. Uh, Elizabeth says surprise grab boxes would be fun. I think so. And by the way, just so everyone knows here, because you're here, you guys get special treatment. I just listed four mystery boxes. Uh, I build those, you know, every so often and they always sell out quickly. I put vinyl and fabric and hardware and zippers and stuff in there. Anything that's sitting around, good stuff. Sometimes it's brand new stuff because I have to order samples in before I place a big order of something. So it might be things that you've never seen in the shop before. So just saying, it's in there. Dalva says you need a laser cutter for the acrylic. Oh, yeah, I do have one. Oh, you do? Yeah. 
I didn't know you had one. We'll get that thing to use. Yes. <laughs> Haven't had the time to use it, but now, now I will. Okay. Um, oh, Betty Mom says Tim has cut those for me. Do you know what his tool was called, Mom? I would like to know. I bet I bet he just used a table saw. Uh, okay, I'm just running through these really quick. Yes, the black is so motorcycle, Gwen. I love it. It's like that. It's just like a black motorcycle jacket. It always looks good. It's a little cool, a little edgy, a little mysterious. All right. Yay. So glad you're here, Roxanne. Woo -woo. So glad. I know this is kind of a funny time. We've discussed moving the time slot. How many times? Uh, hundreds and hundreds and millions. We can't go because, uh, you know, a lot of people are at work right now, but it kind of works for us at the moment, wouldn't you say? It, it does, kind of, but does it work for you? That's the question. <laughs> That's right. It's all about Should you. Should we do a poll? We, we'll we do, a, do poll. a poll. Yeah, we'll do a poll on the, on, on the site and say. What's the, what's the best time for you? Based on, We're probably yeah. going to get millions of answers. Depends on how, how we place it. So we can work it. I got some new bolts of the canvas ruby star in the typewriter print because y'all loved it and then i thought do you guys think it goes with pink glossy because it's always backwards i'm thinking it could huh maybe maybe so we're going to do some more combinations and package kits. And we just have so many plans, so many clipboards up with what the ingredients are. We just have to do it. So hopefully some time will free up. And Carol says she loves it on Fridays. Oh, okay. Yay. Fridays. Friday. Where's Debbie at? Debbie's always here. She must. Oh, I think she's in her, her um, other home. You should remind people that you only ship in the USA. Oh, I ship to Canada and I ship to the UK and France, but it's more complicated. So you just have to ask me to draft up whatever you want. So the process is you just fill your cart and send me the list of everything you want, if you can, in an email and I'll weigh it and get the correct shipping for you. It's kind of time consuming. And I have had people drop out because shipping is so expensive. I'm not charging anything extra. It's actually what it is because it's based on weight. So it can, I know it's kind of a pain. We worked so hard a few weeks ago on the whole Canada thing. Yeah. And we're in a stall at the moment. It's just Shipping is crazy and it's only going to get worse, just so you know. Um, I had a bunch of things in my cart to put in the shop. And the next morning, every single item was $2.50 more expensive. So, for instance, I had 100 candles in my cart for the next Happy Box coming up. And they were, I don't know, $4, let's say, a piece. And just the next morning, because the quarter ended the next morning, they were $6.50 a piece, a $250 mistake by not ordering the day before. So I'm not doing them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's a challenge right now. So he cuts them with a band saw. Yeah, not everyone has one. I, I picture one. like a headband with like. <laughs> that's what I see in my head. Bless your heart. Bless my heart. I know. I don't know what a bandsaw is. Um, off topic, but looking at the material for the large ugly naked guy bag. Oh, I don't think I use six yards. I think that's six yards of 20 inch SF 101. Maybe. No, I did not use six yards. I didn't at all. I should have brought that bag. It's over. It's being used. But um, I used the 
Ana Maria Bremins in pine quilting cotton for the bag. And I know I didn't use six yards of SF 101. That's probably correct because Jen is a mathematical genius, but I did not use six yards. However, I am the notorious Natalie, you know, just making it work with whatever I have. So I hate to say no, because she's probably right. Jen, I'm sure Jen's right, but I didn't use six yards. There's Debbie. Yeah, Debbie. I think so too, Debbie. I'm going to make a bag with it maybe. Test it out. I, I think it's really, really close. And um, I think it will work. <sighs> okay, Lynn says she likes it on Fridays too. <laughs> oh, thanks, Anne. <laughs> oh, Barbara said she got her stuff in Canada right away. Oh, that's excellent to know, Barbara. I, it's always like, oh, I know, wing and a prayer when I send those out. Sometimes things get stopped and I get phone calls and sometimes they just sail right through. It's so weird. But that's good to know. Shipping in general has really gone up. It has. It really has. Okay. Um, Roxanne, I am I am in Madison. Well, I'm a few miles outside Madison. I'm so close to Madison, I could jog there. We can definitely bike. Oh yeah, of course we can bike there. But I mean I could I could jog down to red. We got sushi last night at Red and it was amazing. I always want sushi. <laughs> it's so expensive. <laughs> um, Friday mornings, 9 a.m. here. California works well, so just keep it. <laughs> okay, Debbie, because you said it, I'll keep it. Yeah, I think it's a good time because, you know, for us, usually the kids are at school. Today they're not. They're off. But they're at school. We can kind of collect ourselves and get everything organized and come on here and chill. And whereas if I think if I put it in the evening, I would have so many things going on family wise that it would just be a mess. That's how I feel anyways. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, <laughs> I would never do that to you. Um, that's so funny. Okay. Let's see. What does I save my little scrap that can be used? Of, oh yeah. I save all my scraps too. And you know what? I was uh, telling someone the other day how I will put scraps overlapping each other just a little bit to cover the whole area all the time. I can't tell on the outside of the bag. So definitely save it all. Uh, regular needle with the canvas. So I'm going to be real, Carol, and I'll tell you what I do. I never change my needle from Universal 80 Chrome. Almost, almost never. Some if a if a certain vinyl is giving me trouble, I'll switch to a Microtex because they're sharper. Um, and the only other time I would change if it is if I'm sewing knits, I'd use like a stretch needle, a ballpoint needle. Other than that, it's universal size 80, and I buy chrome. That's what I sell in my shop because I feel that the chrome are just stronger. I don't break near as many as I used to using the chrome needles. Uh, gold would look great with the typewriters too. Oh yeah. That Tropicana tan that's new. The moon glow. Good idea. Might have to get that out and test it. Great idea, Cindy. Um, and Elizabeth said this time works great for her too. Ooh, ooh. Remember Elizabeth? Um, so good. I'm so glad you say so. And you'll let us know how that cactus fabric is for you, Elizabeth, hopefully, whenever you get to it. No pressure. <laughs> Nancy arranged her life to be here. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. Okay, I, it looks like we're just going to stick to it. Thanks, you guys. I really needed to hear that. Oh, yay, Bethany. I was just thinking about you the other day, Bethany. I'm trying to think now, what was it? It'll come to me later. I'll have to message you. Right, Clovis? Every every bit helps. Okay, let's see. Oh, 
I've had a lot of emails about VIP. So I'm just going to mention it really quick. If you're sick of me, go get a coffee. <laughs> but VIP is an annual membership and it comes out to about five bucks a month and you all year long get 20% off vinyl, fabric, and strapping. And a few weeks ago, I also added the leopard zipper uh, for my VIPs. And there's another thingy, majiggy surprise coming up soon uh, for VIPs. They get separate emails with different things, like different offers once in a while. I don't, I don't have time to write a ton of emails, so don't worry. I'm not going to inundate you, but you know, it's for, it's for VIPs. It's supposed to feel special. So that's what I want to make it. And in the past, I don't know, week or two, the orders that have been going out to VIPs also include like little gifts and stuff. And it might be something really small, like stickers, but I buy these things because they are so cool. And it's something I would want to put on my Tumblr or my notebook or I stick them to my sewing machine sometimes. And it's stuff like this. Oh, it's going to be Oh, okay. It is going to be right. Like stuff like this. This is a sticker by the Gray Muse. Um, a 70s platform heel. Who wore these? I want to know. Hands up. <laughs> I love these. Stuff like that. Um, what else? We've been putting in sometimes washi tape, sometimes a little doohickey pack. And I have other things coming in very soon that will go into VIP boxes. And it's not, uh, we're not going to tell you what, it's just going to be, you know, a little whimsical surprise. So that's VIP. You can sign up on the website. You can either search VIP or it's on the main landing page. It says VIP and you just click it and you can read about it. I think it's a uh, really, really fair pricing. Almost, I think out of all the people that have signed up, most have recovered the cost of membership in savings already. So pretty cool. Uh, I wore those in the, as a teenager. Oh, do you have photos? Because <laughs> I just love that. I just love that. My granny had a pair of gold heels and a pair of fuchsia and they were metallic -y heels. And I loved those things. I would play dress up in them. They were the best. Okay. All right. So before I go off the rails any more, any questions, anything you are wondering about, anything I can help explain? Today, we're not going to do a live demo, but we'll have something for you next week. And we might have more news, possibly. Oh, but, uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I wore them in the seventies. Oh. oh, how cool, Lisa. That makes me so happy. I love that leopard washi tape. It's so fun. Carol had a pair of red ones. Oh, so cool. Okay. Kat, I was wondering how not to get bunching on foam interfacing. Can't get it taught. Good question. So, Kat, when I'm trying to see if I have a piece of fabric. So that's why I always cut my foam larger than the piece of fabric. So my foam would be extending on all edges. I would lay it down flat, iron it to the foam, kind of get all the air out. In, in other words, make sure it's really flat. And then if you're not going to quilt it, just baste it around the edges with an eighth of an inch seam allowance. It'll be great. If you bought fusible foam, that stuff wrinkles and bunches very easily, at least for me. That's why I don't buy fusible. And they sell a lot of that at Joanne. So uh, I recommend non-fusible foam and just press it, make it taut. If you need to do some pins, do that. And then baste all around that outer edge at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. So sometimes you just have to do it a few times. Uh, the video I posted Wednesday, it was Wednesday, I believe, the pink nebula quilted pouch. In that video, I 
I think I show how I lay it out on the foam. You can see the foam sticking out all on all edges. And that's why I do that. I'm not a fan of having a smaller piece of foam because it usually shifts on me. And with using vinyl, you can't really pin it. So clips, sometimes the wonder clips can move. So that's just my method. It just works for me and I stick to it. Okay. Oh, Deidre, what was it? What did you have in your cart? Once in a while, I might have more or make more. So let me see what that was. Yes. So I do, I have, um, I used to carry a lot of this, Debbie, and it's going to come back because I've had a lot of requests for pattern kits and with all the hardware in it, totally understand such a time saver. So more is on the way, but currently I have two inch slider buckles and one and a half inch slider buckles. Are we out of the D rings? We might be out of the D rings now. Can you search it, Ramel? It might, I might've taken that down if we sold out. So I will get more. This is the thing. Do I focus on, do I get rainbow, silver, and gold finishes? Or do I need to also get copper, antique bronze? You know, I'm, hmm. Zero. Zero? Okay, so that's why. I'll, I'll have to look at the back room and get those in ASAP. Look in the back. Can you look in the back? <laughs> um, you're out of this. Can you look in the back? <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, good. Nancy said, so Debbie, did I answer your question? I, I'm working on it and I just want some feedback from you guys on the finishes you use the most. I think silver is the, the nickel finish is easiest to get, but I like gold hardware and I have rose gold zippers, so I should probably have rose gold. Um, and then the rainbow iridescent, I love that. It's twice as much as the others, but maybe Austin doesn't get it all. Uh, cutting foam larger is a great tip. It solved my issue. Yay, I'm so glad to hear that. Serene, I'm not, okay, so, I did buy a brand, I believe it was Bossel, and it seemed a smidge thinner than Soft and Stable by, by Annie's. Uh, I, I use them both with no issue. So I think I just like buying Soft and Stable more because the packaging is more convenient for me. And uh, I don't know, I like supporting her business, I guess is the reason <laughs> but elizabeth maybe you can pipe in if you know if certain foams are noticeably thinner i think i think basil is a smidge thinner but for me i don't really notice much difference remember you can always use a whacker or a rubber mallet or zigzag the seams to mash them even flatter if it's bugging your machine you can also put on a walking foot when you're sewing those bag seams together if it's helpful to you or use a jeans jig from the back in the back of the foot to keep your foot level. Okay, sorry. I will hurry it up here. I use Wonder Under to attach foam sometimes. Yeah, so Wonder Cat, this is to you. Wonder Under it's like a double-sided uh, fusible web thing where you put that in the middle and it'll stick your top layer to your bottom layer. I use Wonder Under with my key fobs. Love it because it holds the fabric in place every time when I'm making a key fob. So that's a good tip. If you're having some issues, Wonder Under or steam -a seam or steam -a seam light, that they can work. It can help. It's worth exploring. Make some hot pads or something where you're just, you know, practicing. Who cares? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Anne. I appreciate that so much. 
Yay, Debbie, I'd rather you order from me too. <laughs> then I can send you stickers. <laughs> yeah, Dabba, for sure. Here's the thing. There is so much fabric coming in. I don't even know where we're going to sleep. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you. Sorry. <laughs> no, we have so much coming in. Just consider all Anna Maria fabrics. I'm going to have them. And that will be a thing of the past. Right. Soon. Oh, shh, shh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I ordered the whole line of Tula's new line coming out. Uh, what's it called? I forget everything. Tula. So no need to say more, right? Let's see what else is coming in. Tons of Ruby star. Whenever they get here, it's already ordered, done everything. So I'll have a lot of different kinds of fabric for that hardware. And yeah, I do need to do some matchups because I think that's helpful. I love gunmetal too. It's so motorcycle. I'm going to have to black nickel. Is that Black nickel, is that like the gunmetal color or do you mean black? I've seen some black hardware. It's hard to find. I use gold. Nice. Love it, Julie. That's true. You know, oh my gosh, this morning I got up so early. Uh, don't ask me why, but my kids alarm went off at 6 30 and even though there's no school today i'm like well i'm up might as well get up so i'm online and my my factory people message are messaging me and they're like do you want this zipper do you want this one do you want this one do you want this webbing oh my gosh you guys okay so if you're a fan of seat belt webbing i've got leopard coming in it looks amazing and i've got some new zippers coming in but you know, this is probably a month or two out because production takes about 30 days because it's new design. So I tell them, well, this is a design I like, like I'll mock it up and send them my idea. And then they send back what they think they can do. So anyhow, geez, Tori, did you hear that snore? She is tired. Okay. All right. So Elizabeth is a committed, soft, and stable gal. I've seen a lot of issues with people with other phones. So there you have it. Yeah, I just, I like soft and stable. I like the way I can buy it. It's not huge. You know, I can buy a smaller pack. I like that. Oh, the mystery box. Okay, I can make up another one, Deidre. Just, if you can email me. If you're here... Just consider yourself extra special and email me if something is out. I'll do whatever I can. I can make up a mystery box for you. For me, the soft and stable is a better quality. There's also Pelon F77, which is cheaper. Uh, yeah, so Delva is an expert bag maker. So Kat, if you're still on, there you go. It's not just my opinion. It's a couple people. Um, oh, so it's not Kelly, not tiny beast. What's the one after Parisville? I have the entire line. I think that's what it's called her Parisville. It's like a relaunch, a reimagining of the collection that she had so many years ago. I'm getting that whole line in. Uh, and I'm also getting the entire line of vivacious by Anna Maria, including wait for it a leopard print 108 inch wide back phenomenal i cannot wait i cannot wait that's gonna be a good one it is and ramel be prepared for some furniture slip covers okay <laughs> I'm just kidding. who has the time but i wish i did uh let's see here Oh, no, Delva, I know. I'm seeing some of that in the news. It has me so worried. Yep, Betty says soft and stable is her go-to also. Sounds like we just need to stick to it. Yeah, true that. I do want the bag to hold up as well. Elizabeth makes a good point here. 
I have bags from 12 years ago that are they're fine. I mean, they look a little worn. They look like somebody loved them, but they're still holding together. Seams intact. Everything is fine. So, okay. I think, I think I've gotten through all the questions. If I missed you, please don't take it personally. Email me. I will respond. As soon as I open an email, I respond because I might forget if I don't respond right away. So, I know some people have been like, geez, that was a quick response. Well, it's because I opened it. I was at my computer. I opened it. I will answer. Pants. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, I did want to mention, you might see, I think I mentioned it last week. You might see a few patterns by Mrs. H in the shop. I have a few patterns from Emmeline coming in, Emmeline Bags. I'm going to stock her Necessary Clutch Wallet paper pattern. These are paper patterns uh, because I love it. I have tons. I've made probably six or seven Necessary Clutch Wallets. It's a really, it's a really fabulous pattern. Uh, and you can make it in vinyl. Abby Curry has, if you know Abby Justine, she's made an all vinyl version. Um, let's see, what else? I am bringing in Emmeline... The one I made, Mountain Saddle Saddlebag, I made that in Pink Nebula, soft vinyl. Love it. It's so cute and it's easy to make. So I'll have a few of those coming in any day now. So I guess the next thing is just making up kits for these patterns so that you're not searching all over and wasting time. If there's something you want to see, I'm always open to suggestions. I love feedback. It helps. Helps me. Helps me prevent brain fatigue and overthinking and all kinds of stuff. So I'm here for it. Uh, Clovis, you have the bowler bag pattern. I haven't made this yet either, but I'm hopefully going to shoot a video for this one. I, I just love the shape. I like how she writes her patterns. It's very clear to me, no nonsense. And uh, I hope to have a video for that. She said I could post it. So hopefully... Is it okay to post in the bag maker group pics of our makes? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Always okay. And I, I never mind uh, mentioning a different designer. I just ask, don't link to them. Like people can Google, you know, it just, it, geez, Tori. It helps because sometimes people will come in and, and treat it like their personal advert platform. Yeah, can you help her, please? I'm gonna burp her. <laughs> He's going to go burp the pug. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, yeah, of course, it's fine. I've made more than 50 Emmeline retreat bags. Are you serious, Bethany? Oh, my gosh. Can you send me a photo? <laughs> I don't know if I made the retreat bag. I don't, I don't think I have. Yeah, I love her patterns, too. They're both excellent. Um, okay, yes, this is exactly what happens to me with the fusible foam. It looks like cellulite. I have enough of that on my own. Thank you very much. I do not need any more on my bags. She probably wanted screen time. She wanted screen time? Bring her in because we'll, we'll let these people go in a few. <laughs> Tori, do you like my hair? So I went to bed last night with wet hair and I woke up and it was like crazy. So I just went with it. I'm like, oh, it's a style today. It's fine. Um, <laughs> she, she always looks so worried, like, oh, what's nothing's going to happen to you. <laughs> Can you add a crossbody strap to the Santorini toe? I love that bag. Oh, of course. Ashley, do whatever you want. I think I have tried it on the sides uh, like right over the seam, centering the strap right over that side seam. And it's okay. You could also do one strap connected in the front, have it arch over and one in the back. I'm not a fan particularly of having a strap connected only on one side. Cause then when you wear it, it can feel a little unbalanced unless you have that non-strap side against your body all the time. So uh, yeah, definitely. You could also just put uh, little connectors with D-rings on and then a lobster clasp on each end of your strap 
so that it's detachable if you don't want it that way. So many things you can do with that bag. Feel free to explore and create your own version for sure. Oh yeah, Clovis. Yeah, it's such a good one, isn't it? I love it. I made myself a template for the pockets because I, I was making quite a few and it, it really saved time. I have that in a folder somewhere. I keep all my favorite patterns in folders, like your school folders, and then they're in a basket. And I, I love that because if I ever make a template or little square cutouts or whatever, rivet, uh, rivet marking tool or whatever, I'll put it in the folder and then it's there, you know, three years from now when I feel like making that again. Um, oh, Kim, sure I can. I Maybe I just have a snap demo. I feel like I did a rivet demo, but maybe I didn't. Maybe it was snaps. Um, I'll look at my YouTube and see. It's probably a snap demo. But yeah, I'll do that. I love rivets, rivets, and I love the press. The press is worth every cent, a cam press. Now you can buy it so it does rivets and snaps. I had to buy two machines when I bought these, or two presses. So I have a snap press and I have a rivet press. I'll never use a hand tool again. They just, the margin for error for me is 50% on a hand setting tool. But with the press, I almost never mess it up. You know, I don't know, Verna. I don't know. I'll message Janelle and see. There might be some already out there. And usually if it's pretty good quality, I won't I won't shoot a video if you can find it elsewhere. But I will ask her and get back to you. Carol, just go for it. You're going to love it. It's really popular. I feel like these really popular patterns are popular for a reason really well done. Oh, good for you, Kim. She has a press coming this week. Money well spent. All right. Hi, Terry. Hi. Okay. So did I talk enough? Uh, I don't see any more questions. Remember, we're at SoHungryHippie.com. We'll get that chat feature back up soon with the frequently asked questions visible. Um, Oh, Delva, said, Delva would know. Delva says there are many videos for that. Oh, geez. Really, Delva? Yeah. So there you go, Verna. There's, there's a million out there. Awesome. Yay. Thanks, Bethany. I can't wait. Okay. This looks good. Uh, let's see here. We'll have some, you know what? Maybe next week we'll do the Rivet Press demo with the sizes and maybe the snap also because i feel like i could run through that really quickly yeah i do like 12 millimeter rivet heads and an 8 to 10 millimeter post that's my preference and for the snaps for some reason they call it a size 20 but it's 12 millimeters across so that's what i tend to use with my bags all right i think that's it you guys thanks so much for being here I'll see you next week. And in the interim, explore, create, make, take some time for you. You're worth it. Have a breath, you know, contemplate. Life is good. We're all alive. So yay. <laughs> all right. I will see you soon. Bye.